They've been following me for ages. Look, look, look at them, look. Creeping up on me. Alright, we'll see. I think they're a bit clueless though, because I can see them. Look, you, you'd think by now they would shoot me right now, but no. Nope, you missed with your horse. This guy's got his lasso out. Go and tie me up then, do something, because... Alright, fair enough. Good night. No night. <laughs> Dodge that, pigs out. We walk around, like we own this place, like we own this place, we walk around. Players are bored when it comes to Red Dead Online. We all know, I don't need to tell you guys what's going on. You guys already know. New players are even bored. You know, Rockstar's excuse was, we're slowing down content because we want to let new players catch up. I know a lot of new players and they're bored already. They've already caught up. I know players that's been playing Red Dead Online for two months. They've finished all the roles, all of the content, and they're bored. I mean, if I was a new player, I would want the game to continuously add content because then that way there is a ton of content in front of me. You know, why would new players want to catch up? Because if they catch up, they're in the same shoes as us veterans. We'll get an update after eight months, complete it within five days. Then we have to wait another eight months for another bit of content. New players don't want that rock star. So please... Start listening to your fans. It is getting ridiculous. So what's going on in Red Dead Online right now? Griefers. We've all always had griefers in, in Red Dead Online. But right now, as I speak, it is getting ridiculous. I mean, you know, we go we go into battles getting them back. Simple as that. You know, griefers come along, we try our best to take care of them. But last night, you know, I was on with my team and so on and you know we're, we're trying to play the game i know the game you know the content's getting old we're getting bored of doing the same things you know trader moonshine you know it's it's good money but it's it's the same content it's getting boring but we're still what makes us still play right now is the, the team we have our friends you know it's a friendship we come on to have a good time and last night was just ridiculous i mean we was on for probably five hours and we did nothing but fight griefers. And shockingly, we're, we're mainly seeing griefers, you know, new, as new players. New players seem to be griefers. Now, does that not tell you something if, if there's more new players griefing? That possibly means they don't care about the content. Or it could mean that they've done all the content and they're waiting for new content. So they get along with, you know, they get their friends on and go grief and they grief the higher levels and 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 then and then get destroyed <laughs> simple as that but it goes to show as well you know it goes to show with griefing when there's a massive increase with griefing that means everyone's getting bored everyone is so bored and you know i say to my team you know i'm bored i'm really bored but if i come off of red dead you know me and my team we only really play red dead and gta you know, it's a big thing for us. But GTA is very old. There's nothing new. We've done it all. We don't want to play GTA, to be honest. But Red Dead is getting like that as well. And it's it's like, where do you, what do you do? I mean, as of recent, we've tried to create our own content. It sounds strange. It sounded strange when I first heard it. But we play hide and seek. Massive team of us. We go to a mansion in uh, Saint Denis. And the way we do it, it is pretty professional, I'll put it that way. But it's so much fun. It's so much fun. We've done it a fair few times, so we've slowed down on it. I mean, I'd love to get some of you guys in and and join us uh, when we do a hide-and-seek. The more people we have, the more fun it is. And it sounds stupid, but it's not. It is absolutely a, a, an amazing time you, you will have doing it. Um, yeah, I mean... We, we do fight clubs you know we want to do we want to do a major fight club you know and that goes to show as well you know it's not just me that's doing things like this it's other youtubers that they're creating their own content austin bmx is is doing these little series of, of role play i i didn't think he would do that but he's doing it because it's it's content you know for him and a lot of youtubers are trying to do things differently and we shouldn't have to go to that level you know content for me should be released every three months 
one big update, one small update, one big update, one small update. It just doesn't happen. And we're just, we're in like a whole new world in Red Dead, you know, it's, we scratch our heads, you know, what's coming, uh, taxidermy roll, that's, that's coming, we know that, but it could be a whole year away from now, it could be the update in June, it could be three years away, we don't know, we really don't know, there's so many things in the game files right now, um, that we are waiting on, but when we, we, we don't know what order we're getting it in, we don't know what's next, but we should definitely be getting an update for June 1st, um, because 31st of May is when the Outlaw Pass 5 ends, and we've never had a gap in between Outlaw Passes, so whenever an Outlaw Pass has ended, a new one begins the very next day, and that pattern will probably continue, well, I hope so anyway, so being said, June 1st, we should have something, we should definitely be getting Outlaw Pass 6, but it should be coming with a, a brand new update you know as in brand new content for us to actually do something new in the game and take away our boredom but then again will the content be big enough to keep us going will we only last five days what do you guys think comment down below and let me know i'd love to hear from you guys and as you can tell i've not done many videos the last week because there's nothing to post you know i've been debating whether to post uh new games to do to the channel let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. I mean, I've always wanted to keep my channel based on Rockstar Games, but it's it's hard, you know, because I'm just a Rockstar Games YouTuber, I'm pretty much a part-time YouTuber because of the lack of content they put out. Um, but that is unfortunate. But yeah, I mean, let me know your experiences with Griefers, guys. Has it increased over the last week or two? It definitely has for me uh, and my team. It's, last night we was on for four to five hours and we were just fighting griefers. That was it. Literally, that's all we done. Um, we went to sell traders uh, back to back. Um, we started to sell the first wagon. It got E-round. Uh, it, got, it, <laughs> it got blown up. Um, so we left it there. We thought, nah, try again tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably get into a solo lobby um, using a solo lobby glitch because... That's going to be the only beneficial way of, of playing the game without any griefers. Um, but yeah, that's said and done. Let me know your thoughts on what I've spoke about, guys. Um, I appreciate the support on the channel. You guys sticking with me means a lot. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on, on Red Dead at the moment. You know, it is slow. We've still got a month and a bit to an update. Um, time just seems to be going very, very slow. Uh, but yeah, that is the video, guys. Again, I appreciate the support. If you don't mind, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and hit that bell. I'm SG. I'll catch you guys next time. Way we walk around, like we own this place.